Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is the Deck Review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Memento Mori deck from Art of Play and Dan and Dave. All right, so what is the Memento Mori deck? This is a very stunning deck that was designed and created by a gentleman named Michael Mateko, and he works down at the Combo Creative. And I don't think you'll have to look very close at this deck to notice that everything has been completely redesigned and transformed. All of your traditional suits have been reimagined. So now they, uh, instead of the traditional suits like clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, now you have stars, swords, flies, and feathers. Each one of those is a symbol of order, aspiration, chaos, and scavengery. The front of the tuck case has a window that uh, depicts an ominous eye, and then it's all wrapped in this black mat. And then you're gonna have a subtle, like black uh, gloss embossed that kind of goes through that, that adds uh, a little bit of shimmer to it. And then you'll see all these like occult images, all these like dark forces, like strange star maps, and just really uh, odd iconography that'll accompany this deck all over. One side of the tuck case says Memento Mori, the other side says designed by Combo. The bottom has some ad copy for Art of Play. At the top, you get an original tuck seal, and the back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. The tuck flap has the all-seeing eye, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they are done on their retail stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion embossed, and if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. The back design is that same haunting eye there in the center, and it's uh, surrounded by these concentric circles. And then you still get a lot of those uh, strange framework, just odd, just odd imagery. It makes for a very haunting deck. You'll also notice that you have a medium poker border. Now, the one thing I don't really love about this is that you have red faces all the way to the edges. So you have red bleed on one side and then a white border on the other. Uh, magicians, we know that this doesn't really hide reverse cards very well. However, just because uh, this is a redesigned deck, uh, you don't have the standard suits or courts or anything, uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this deck for magic or, or for gameplay anyway. I think these cards won't be recognizable to your audience, and so this is probably only a collector's deck. With this deck, you'll get two original jokers, one black, one white, and it is a skull smiling at you with the word joker beneath. Also with this deck, you'll get two extra cards. You'll get one for the combo creative and one for art of play. Now, like I said earlier, each one of these suits has been completely redesigned. The imagery adorning both the cards and the ominous embossed tuck call attention to medieval existentialism, the occult, and divine mathematics. And believe me when I tell you this, uh, you're, you're not gonna believe uh, what these cards look like. Uh, they are some haunting imagery, uh, very strange, and I think they'll only appeal to a certain amount of people. This deck was only limited to 2,500 decks, and so if this is something you want to pick up, I would suggest you head over to artofplay.com and check it out. All right, so that is my review of the Memento Mori deck from Dan and Dave, Art of Play, and Michael Mateko of the Combo Creative. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magicorthodoxy, twitter.com slash magicorthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy, and if you need more content, you can always find it at magicorthodoxy.com. Thanks, bye.